Alright guys, I can't believe that we're here. We're, uh... Got every... everything in the game. We're just missing out on... Getting all 1,000... Enemy kills. Um... Yeah, so here we are. It's been a it's been a ride. All things considered, you know, this game has been a lot like how I remembered it to be when I was a kid. But you know, it, it's always good to kind of go back and And, uh, you know, it, it's good to go back. Sorry, I know there was, an, there was an audio issue here. All right, there we go. Should be better now. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it's good to go back and play this game. Like, you know, I think this is a really, really good starting point. Um, for the 100% that is, you know, every Final Fantasy. But at the same time, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's not the best, and it's still cool to go ahead and get that experience in a remaster. Uh, but at the same time, you know, the, it definitely has its issues. Uh, whether it be with, you know, there's a little bit of pacing issues, um, a few others with, like, th there's just like a lot of really wonky character development, and, and considering that this is Square's first ever take at a uh, romance story, it might be just because they're not used to it. Uh, you know, more five, six, seven. They're not really focused around romance, like that's not the driving thing. It's really the antagonist that drives the story in those games. Uh, in this case, you know, <coughs> the the romance part, the romance part, kind of drives everything. So it's definitely a lot different pacing than what Square was used to. Uh, my biggest critique of this game comes with the level sinking system. And I really was not a fan of the draw magic system. I know some people live by it. I personally wasn't really too much of a fan of it. Uh, but there is, of course, like a few a few other things that... The, you know, the, like I said, the pacing is really weird. Like, uh, you wouldn't expect the whole space station nonsense that happens at the end of the game when you first, you know, start out. So, it's a little bit weird... But the, the story is still cohesive, and it, it, I mean, for the most part, it makes sense. It's just a little bit more complicated than some of the others in the series. With that said, I think Triple Triad is one of the best mini games that Square has ever done. I mean, as much as frust you know, as frustrating as things were yesterday, I still had a lot of fun collecting every card, and it's really rewarding when you do. Whether it be for the reason that you needed to get an item via card mod, or it's just kind of a really cool collector's thing to get that golden star. Uh, so either way, I think they did a really good job with that. And the character development itself, too, isn't too bad. Like, I, I think that Squall and Renoa, both his characters, develop heavily. Uh, so, I, I safely give this game like a 7.5 out of 10. My pr biggest pros are the character development, the soundtrack is easily the biggest one for sure. I think this has one of the best soundtracks in, uh, in games that I've played. So that's that's for sure. A, a huge, huge reason is the soundtrack. The soundtrack of this game is amazing. Is you know We, we went through every song and uh, the mini games and stuff like that are a lot of fun too. The big issues that I have with it come in a few parts of the plot. Like, if I were to make a con list, 
Uh, a few parts of the plot, I do not like the draw system, like how you have to junction spells to your different stats, as much as it is for strategy and it's kind of fun to have different builds and stuff like that, you're going to want pretty much the same Meltdown, Full Life, Ultima, Holy, and Meteor. So there is still a lot of strategy to be had, and like it's a lot of fun in junctions, like how we have Death cast on Squall right now, so he's just one-tapping everything. That's kind of cool, and, and it's really cohesive and like that, but there is quite a few issues with the pacing and whatnot of the plot. But besides that, like I, I think the game is very well written. <clears throat> so I safely put it at like a seven and a half on my scale. The issue that I have really in this in this whole entire experience that we've had with Final Fantasy VIII has been with the actual remaster itself, more opposed to the game. I knew what to expect with the game since I'd beat it when I was a kid, but with the remaster there was a whole bunch of issues that just kind of didn't really make sense to me as to why they were here. Uh, some of them it consists of like the weird graphic issues. In particular, the um, people who look like they're painted in the background. It just didn't really make too much of sense to me. And uh, the licensing and stuff like that, they had a lot of glitches that were still been left over from the original game, which I didn't really like too much. Uh, you know, you had quite a while to work on the game as a remaster, so I would expect like the Dole uh, landing glitch with the music, with the MIDI file, to kind of be sorted out. But it, for some reason it hadn't been... You know, maybe they felt like they were on a crunch of time with this. Uh, but I will give it square credit for a few things. First off, actually releasing this game give uh, major props. Because th this game has some diehard fans. And it's not the most popular in the series. Like, it doesn't have that same 6 or 7 feel. Even 10 for that same list. But this game has a whole bunch of fans that have been asking for something like this for a very long time. So, I mean, the character models look really good. Ultimeji looked fantastic at the end. Uh, even the Laguna Dream sequences and stuff like that. They all looked really, really good. But there was those few uh, background characters that didn't get any sort of, like, like I said, they look like they're painted polygons or something like that. So I wasn't too much of a fan of that. But, you know, that's... Like I said, they may have just been on a time crunch to try and finish the remaster. They did announce it and then release it <coughs> within like a two and a half, three month span. So that's uh, definitely a, a big reason behind it. Uh, with that said though... Yeah, it, this has reminded me of a really good business idea. And, and chat's bringing it up now. If they, if Square ever did an IRL Triple Triad game, like where you could buy... <coughs> uh, triple Triad cards like a Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh pack and they did something like that IRL like you can go to like Target, Walmart, I don't know, GameStop even and buy some sort of Triple Triad pack and you know you have a chance of getting the like level 10 cards that have A's and all that kind of stuff uh, you can do custom rules with your friends it's a super simple game that's that's family friendly because it's so easy to pick up and pretty easy to understand I think it's a brilliant idea. And with the amount of Triple Triad that we played, I would, I may as well devote the rest of my life to playing it if an IRL copy ever did cease to exist. So the remastered, uh, another thing too, is if you play Final Fantasy X remastered, and I'm going to compare this game a lot to Final Fantasy X Remastered because that's the most recent one that they've remastered. Some people say Final Fantasy IX, but that was more of a port than it was a remaster. Um, Final Fantasy X had a completely reorg. Oh, you know what? I'll compare it to Zodiac Age too. Zodiac Age had a completely reorchestrated soundtrack, so you can go ahead and change the soundtrack uh, from the original to the orchestrated. It's like more distant worldsy, if you will. Uh, and then there was like a combination one, which it kind of changes one of the song loops, which was really, really nice. Like, very, very nice. And uh, I was a huge fan of those changes. Uh, I was a huge, huge fan of those changes. Like, <coughs> they added also the job system, 
uh, which wasn't in the US until then. They also added trial mode and they added a whole bunch of stuff that the US didn't get ever. So the remastered of that was really awesome because it's like you're playing a whole new game. You have job systems, you have the trial mode, you could go ahead and grind whatever, whatever. Um, and they added the new weapons like the Sight and Grat and the Great Tango, blah, 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 blah. And they didn't call that a remake, they called that a, a remaster. So with this game, it's more of a port than it really is a remaster. The character models are up upgraded for sure. There is no reorchestrated soundtrack, and they didn't add anything. With that said, though, it kind of makes sense because Final Fantasy VIII in 1999, you bought it in the U.S., same exact thing as it is in Japan. There was no, like, oh, you get to fight Penance, you get to fight every single judge, you get to fight uh, Last Mission, you know, like 10-2. Uh, they didn't do any of that. They more or less just kind of kept the same copy of Final Fantasy VIII, updated the character models, and... You know, maybe fix some of the translation. I, I wasn't too knowledgeable since I was so young, but I had heard that that was it. Like, they fixed, you know, a few lines of text or some maybe major, major outline glitches that the game had. Besides that, they really just kept it as a port. Uh, and it's the same with Final Fantasy VIII that, that some of us, you know, know and love. So... It's like I said, I think that this game passes a bare minimum for a remaster. In the remaster scale, I give it like a 5.5, maybe a 6 out of 10. I think I'm leaning more towards a 5.5. And, and the reason being is just because, finally, <coughs> I wish that they did something with the soundtrack. They should have fixed more glitches and they, they should have had the licensing for... Uh, eyes on me. That part was kind of the most like, oh man, I didn't even get to s stream the ending of like my second favorite ending in the series. That part did suck, you know, but that's that's more of a attorney contract dispute as opposed to anything else. So I can't blame them for that. It's just something that's like, man, you hate to see it. Uh, they didn't really change anything else besides that. Everything else is just your standard Final Fantasy VIII. There was just, you know. So, I think if you're a fan of the original, the Times 3 mod, I guess I should talk about that. The mods in this game change it, like, insanely. We're going to be hitting 100% right now uh, when we get Lionheart, and we even went above and beyond and got every item, magazine, and triple triad card, which wasn't even in a, a trophy, uh, as you can see there, noted by the star. Um... The mods, right here, there's going to be times three, and there's, I'll, I'll go into those later. We're only at 25 hours right now, and we're going to 100% this game. So, the mods that you get are the times three speed, and then you get this thing called battle limit, which gives you max health and limit break on every single turn. Um, the battle limit one, I don't know why anyone would use it. Like, if you really just want to kill a game... Go ahead and make yourself invincible and play it. It's, uh, you know, it's not the best. And you also have no encounters, which basically is Diabolos's encounter none just at the start of the game. So that's not really a useful mod. Like if you if you do what we did and, and got punishment super early, you could fight Diabolos, steal encounter none, like. You know, within the first five hours of you playing. Now, the big thing is, and that's very true as Tat was notifying, this game did have to be remade from scratch, and they had to do it again when they made the PC version on, when they put the, the PC version on Steam. Because back in the day, <coughs> I guess Square never really saved any of their projects that they made. So the original, like, copies of, I think, 6, 7, and 8 are gone. Like, just deleted. Which is just crazy to me. Uh, so since this was in that caliber, they did have to kind of remake everything from scratch. Now, I don't know how much they reused from the PC version. Because the Steam version, I know that they had to go ahead and really remake everything from scratch. But in this one, you know, I think they probably had a lot more groundwork.
So I will give them, you know, credit for that. I don't know how much work, like I said, went into the remaster. But I'm just glad that we finally got it, all in all. It's like I said, this game is really not one that is uh, looked at. And I don't think it's a bad game by any means. I don't think it's a like a the best Final Fantasy. I think it's if anything, it's mid table. That's why that's seven and a half rating. Um, you know, I don't put it on the same caliber as ten, seven, Type Zero Tactics. Not like that. But it's not a bad game by any means. Once you can get over the whole drawing system. Which is really, like, it's not like a bad system by any means. It's just a lot different than, hey, you leveled up. The here, you can learn this ability. Or, hey, you got enough money. Oh, I should probably talk about the gill thing, too. The other part that's really weird is the gill. Uh, other games you can go ahead and hunt monsters for and sell items. In this game, you get it based off of a paycheck on your seed rating. You can't get any gill from killing monsters, which... Uh, I guess it's a little bit more realistic, all in all. But at the same time, it's just not very Final Fantasy. So, you know, take that for what you will. That never really bothered me, though. In the times 3 speed, if you just go ahead and take all the seed tests, you could probably search up the answers online and put it on times 3 speed. You'll just get paid seconds after seconds. And that's also very true. Uh, they always say to avoid stepping in a great man's shoes, and this game had to do that. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's forefather is the game that brought, do we wipe here? Oh, n no way. Zell, we have to kill him here. Uh, it's forefather is the game that brought JRPGs to the west. Please let that kill him. I really don't want to die. Oh wow, we lose. And we haven't saved. Wonderful. Okay. Well then, um... I can't believe that. I think that defeat thousand enemies though is uh, system wide and not like in a battle report wide. If it's battle report wide then we just lost like 20 minutes of grinding. I can't believe that we actually just wiped. That's pretty wonderful. I think we had like 400 enemies, no, we had like six, 700 enemies killed. Uh, so we're gonna have to run into like, to be safe, probably a hundred random battles. I didn't raise Squall because Zell doesn't have a raise. He doesn't have items equipped either. Maybe this will take a little bit longer than I thought. I mean, it is going to be like a hundred random battles. We pretty much had encounter none on for like the whole game. So I'm not used to... Well, that's why our, our tally was so low in monsters fought. I like how we can beat the Omega weapon though when we lose to uh, some random Wendigo in uh, in the forest. Just gotta love this game sometimes.
Yeah, there's a way to check how many you've killed. But I don't know if the achievement is like this this wide or if it's like everything. Uh, you want to go over to here and then you can go to info or yeah, it's info. And then battle report, character report, and you just add up everything. And you add if you add up all of that, that'll tell you how many enemies you killed. So we were proud. We were somewhere around like 600 when I first started. Times like this are when you just love to have the, uh... And it, honestly, you could 100% this game without fighting a thousand enemies. It's just, that's what they, that's one of the achievements that they chose, so... That's what we're stuck with. For better or for worse, I guess. But hey, a full 100% means a full 100%. I wonder what the achievements are for Final Fantasy X. That's the next game that we're doing. Well, I guess Wolf. Uh, we're going to finish that up. And then My Life is a King. But I wonder if the Final Fantasy X achievements are any difficult. I'm going to be playing that one through Steam. So um, that'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. I'm really excited for that game. I haven't played it in, in quite a while. So it'll be uh, it'll be fun. I'm excited to do Zodiac Age 2. I never 100%ed that one. Uh, and then we'll run Revenant after that. Most people don't even know that game exists. Which is too bad, that's a very fun one. So yeah, I still need to go ahead and get a list though of every, like the order that we're going to do things. I was going to kind of just put it up on polls, but how it looks now is going to be tonight we're going to go ahead and, and finish Wolf and then focus like full heartedly on my life as a king. And uh, after my life as a king, it's going to go Final Fantasy X. And, uh, Wolf. I'm gonna try and do both. I always like kind of doing two at the same time just in case we get sick of one. It's like, okay, we can just go jump over to the other. And, uh, we're gonna finish Wolf and do every side quest tonight, but we're not gonna beat everything in the Coliseum. So we'll do ten and jump back and forth between the Coliseum. And then, uh, I guess after that we could run twelve or thirteen or whatever. Uh,. We have the 13 trilogy. I thought they were always good. That's a game I thought they were going to remaster. And they just haven't yet. But it wasn't very popular, so I guess that would kind of make sense. Uh, so if you guys thought I got frustrated at Triple Try, I just wait till we do Final Fantasy X. There is uh, quite a few things in that game that could frustrate even someone who is tilt-proof, such as dodging lightning or catching butterflies or chocobo racing. They all sound like they're pretty peaceful topics, and uh, but they're not. Final Fantasy X has a way of uh, putting someone down the brink of insanity if not played correctly. Luckily, we should be able to play it correctly. Final Fantasy X is gonna be a uh, gonna be a fun one. I think I'm more excited for that than anything. Like obviously the Seven remake, but uh, December is gonna be huge. At least I think I should go December is when we're gonna go ahead and do the compilation of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, the Chocobo theme in this game is my favorite of. I think it may be my like favorite to second favorite overall. Well, I mean, Vamala Flamenco actually is probably my favorite if that counts. 
I don't know. I'll have to make like a tier list when I'm done playing all these games where I could go ahead and just make like a, a actual tier list of everything. Like best best weapons, top ten best weapons across the series. I think Lionheart's probably gonna be in a top five slot, best jobs, all that kind of stuff. I think that'll be uh I think that'll be a fun one. And it's better that I'm gonna have all these games fresh in my mind and not have to reminisce all the way back to early high school and elementary school to to try to remember everything. Like Final Fantasy VIII is now fresh in my mind and I forgot a lot about the the pacing and like where certain things took place. Just waste that ammo. Honestly, the first time I played uh, Final Fantasy VIII, I didn't even know that the enemies level synced. Are we gonna really lose again? I don't want to think that that's true. That is, uh... I mean... Are you, why, are you telling me that there is? Are you telling me that someone went on Moonbase Alpha and, and sung eyes on me? Because uh, that's something that I have a feeling probably has happened. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Link it. Link it. Now I've got to see it. I guess it's better than saying John Madden all over again. You know what? If somebody, if somebody hasn't, or if somebody hasn't made it, I think it's my turn too. That is a brilliant idea. Oh, it, okay. So it hasn't been made yet. We've got to at least be up by now. Like, that was at least like our 20th fight. That thing is really annoying. We've got to kill that thing first, honestly. If we do that, we could upload the end because it won't be copyrighted. That's high IQ. That's very high IQ. I actually almost like that. It's not. It's not copyrighted if we sing the song. The sad part is when we get to type zero's ending and it's not going to be able to be seen. That's a fan that's the goat ending right there besides like tactics. Tactics epilogue and type zero ending like those are those are some spectacular moments in Final Fantasy right there. Top moments for sure. Yeah, that's that, that's what the original like. That's what I thought the joke was was trying to make. I think that moves move or uh, doing that on that game would be hilarious because uh, when Eyes on Me is first vocally played, it's uh, you're flying from the moon.
so annoying. I hate this thing. But now death won't work because I zombied him. Oh, here comes shoot. We are not going to lose again to this one. Absolute hacking enemy. That's a misclick. They call this the disaster class. One hundred and ninety three. Okay, there we go. Scared me there for a second. Guess we did have life. There's a dolphin blow in uh in Final Fantasy VII, but I think it's called like dolphin kick or something like that. They reuse a few of the names as references. Uh, for example, the final limit break in Tifa's arsenal is uh, Final Heaven, and then that's Zill's final. Uh, and the Combat King, the fifth one, his his ult, which you haven't seen yet, is is Final Heaven. Uh, I don't remember if it does. I don't remember if it makes the same noise or not. I think it may have a similar animation though. The noise is what makes it top tier. Okay. The best noise in any of the Final Fantasy Land Breaks is, uh, is Omni Slash, for sure. You would think we would almost be at that thousand mark by now. Like, I. I know we didn't fight a lot, or pretty much at all. But a thousand enemies isn't really that many in a Final Fantasy game with times three speed on. Let's go ahead and get a change of scenery. Oh. Gizard. Poor bite bug. Oh, poor bite bug. Oh, man.
pretty much this is a lot easier. Uh, these things will do, just look at that. It's a lot easier. They don't really give much XP. Um, and you have a chance to get four, like so. Also, they don't level sync with you. This is one of the few places in the game that has a standard level, so uh, everything here has like four HP. If you're unlucky, you'll run into a Buell. But it's not as, like, it, it could or could not be as good as the thing in, in, Dual, in uh, the Dolly Forest. The only difference is that this, since uh, this is easier, we don't risk dying at all. So we can go ahead and just kind of stick it out here, honestly. I think it'd be faster in the long run anyways. So we don't have to wait for Squall um, all three turns. But I also don't want to keep running into Buells. There we go. Oh, never mind. There we go, there's two. What do you guys think? You guys want to stay here or do you want to go to the Dole Forest? What do you guys think is faster? Because we've ran into four enemies here. This is just easier. But it can't it's not necessarily faster, it's just that we won't lose. I think we may just go back to Dole, honestly. I think it may be just a little bit faster. If there was a way to guarantee four enemies at a time, then I would, you know, love this place, but... Oh! Maybe it wants me to stay. Maybe this first room is only four spawns. No, never mind. Yeah, I think we'll just go back to delay. only a bomb. Too bad too, I really like Find Your Way. Probably should have saved. I 
Another thing too is if I had Death Junction, that would've been kinda nice for everyone. I don't think I have anything that would allow me to even get it, but we're so close to 100%ing, like, I don't know if there's really much we need. We're probably, like, 10 more encounters away, I'd argue. It's all odds, I, I would if I could, but I can't. You guys are probably stunned right now that 99 is not the max level. Another thing I was that weirded me out about this game is that 99 isn't the max level, it's 100. We're probably now at like 800 maybe. Oh, I needed a cure. That ain't good. Oh, no, it's fine. Alright, we're level 100. Look at that, we get a little star next to our name now. It's great stuff. <coughs> um. <laughs> Wanna see if we can get death from anything. Oh, God, I don't even know how I have death to begin with. I'm pretty sure it's not like a card thing. Does death count as a life? Oh my god, it does. Okay. That's probably why we couldn't find it. It's the saw blade. Okay. Wow. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get rid of some stuff. Slow, we don't need. Burr, I guess if it's equipped. Meltdown, yes. Float, no. Cure, no. Sleep, no. Here we'll keep Blizzard no, and we'll keep that. Stop, drain. Okay. I guess that makes sense that uh, death would be a uh, a magic of life. Okay, everyone has death 100 now. That should be at least 50. Alright, there. Now now the game should be a little bit flowing a little bit better.
There you go. Okay. Now, if only Irvin had uh, Junction Attack, Elemental Attack, I would go ahead and, you know, we would we'd put that on him, but he's still going to be a little bit useless. I hate the Wendigo so much. There's gotta be, like, I, there's no way that we're not almost done. Just refuse to believe it. I'm so done fighting Wendigos. It is going a lot faster now that he's dead. Like a lot, lot faster. Now you're a Wendigo. I can't do Dolphin Blow uh, unless I cheated. I don't want to cheat. He has to be at limit break conditions, and he's not at crit health yet. I'll do it after I get my achievement. I wanted to pride myself on beating this game without using any sort of, like, mod that's not the three times speed one. Because I don't- I want this playthrough to be legit. I feel like if we- if we didn't do that, then what's the point, like... Congrats, you beat a game with mods. You know, that's not beating it. That's not 100%ing it legitly. No, don't worry, we will, I promise. But it will have to be after I have 100%ed. We're only a few enemies away now. Lionheart, that's without a question. I mean, you've seen it. It's insane. Look. Oh, never mind. Don't look. Okay, it's not Dolphin Blow. It's Lionheart. I just said that, you silly head. I can't believe we're going on an hour already. That's insane. Alright, here we go. This is my favorite move in the game. Lionheart. Oh man. At least it kills everything. I'm not fighting Omega again. Not only that, but I can't. I can't fight Omega again. It's gone. It's dead. It's deleted. It's gone. Omega is gone. I can't fight against him if I tried. Once he's dead, he's gone. I'm not- why would I do that? You would use fast ammo and maybe like a beat rush, but you wouldn't use dolphin blow. That takes way too much time to insert. I don't even think anyone out there has ever killed him with dolphin blow. Like that's just not an attack that is a lasting hit.
Just wait till you get to meet Mr. Dolphin in Final Fantasy VII. Can't wait to deal with that in the remake. You better be in there. I almost want to keep a counter. I, there's just no way. We should be done by now. Dude, I'm so done with Wendigos. Nothing is funnier to me than Squall Speed. <laughs> what is that? It's just so fast. A fungar is a pet. I think there is a title in 14 that's like a called like fungar exterminator or something like that. But uh, they were more prevalent in Final Fantasy 11. Zell, you had one job, man. Your death was supposed to hit, and now Irvin's dead, all because of you. All right, tell you what, his he's at crit health. I'll go ahead and try and use Dolphin Blow, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, but I'll try it. Oh, he got slept. Doesn't work.
Nice, so I've been talking for the past 20 minutes, and uh, yeah, I guess my mic was muted the entire time. You love to see it. Anyways, what I was saying was I really wanted to show you guys uh, my final heaven, but we just couldn't get it. Instead, we ended up just getting, um, we ended up just getting, what's it called, like 50, 50 dolphin blows, so I hope you enjoyed. We still haven't been able to see the uh, hits different beat, or... Yeah, I was pretty much... That's exactly right, I was pretty much just talking to myself. Hate to hear it. My mic's mute button is really, really small. Like, it's not like gives you an indication that it's muted. So I must have accidentally have tapped it. And then, uh, yeah. Kind of sick muted the whole entire time. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Probably something about Final Heaven or something like that. Well, thanks for letting me know, though, that I was, uh, that I was muted, or else that would have been embarrassing, because when we do finally get our, th our thousandth enemy kill, this would be reason for celebration, because we'd 100% this game. Alright, we're already an hour into the stream, like, I... We have to hit a thousand by now. I'm surprised we haven't already. Like I was saying earlier, I knew that we didn't fight, but this is a whole nother level. The level of our guiding force is at. Are they at least hitting in the 90s? No. <laughs> Not even close. Um. Let me see here. Okay, now we're at like 900, 800, 900. There's probably like 10 or so more battles that we have to do. I really like that they give you like a proof of Omega uh, as an item in the information tutorial tab. I always really, really enjoyed that. I thought that was kind of cool. Even though this is the first time I've gotten it, I've heard that that's something that they did. And now it's like you can flex on your friends that uh, don't have it. And you can prove that you actually beat it instead of being like, Oh yeah, you know, I beat it. No. You actually have proof now. Just like how in Final Fantasy IX, uh, you get the old King of Jump Rope item that does absolutely nothing in the game. But you can brag to your buddies that you spent probably hours and hours of your life uh, playing Jump Rope. Dear goodness, am I not excited for that, by the way. 100% of Final Fantasy IX means that we have to get the King of Jump Rope, and I feel like maybe two people in history have ever gotten the King of Jump Rope. The whole party may go to level 100. Just realized. I'm waiting for that achievement to pop up any time now. Count, we're gonna count maybe I'm gonna assume maybe nine more battles or something like that I want to keep count now because I want to make sure that 
I'm not doing something wrong. So this should be eight. Seven. The trophy also takes like a little bit of time before it registers. So maybe we've already done it or something like that and it'll just register. Well you guys will know because I guess a huge black box appears on the screen. I don't know why it just doesn't show the achievement name. That'd be kind of cool if it did that, but uh, of course not. Oh, we just ran out of bounds. What if we were at 999 right now and that was a thousand? The scenes that that would be. I'm surprised that I feel we got really lucky with Odin this game. I don't know why, but it felt like that dude was always spawning. And then with Gilg, I've seen him maybe like once or twice. I wonder if, um, I would assume that it does, like, I, Odin's kill count has to be pretty high. Like, at least 50, maybe 200? So I wonder if his kill count counts towards our total to the thousand. Also, uh, Irvin just hit a level 100. Of course, we get slept. Now we've really got to almost be there. Like, I am refusing to believe that we are not almost at a thousand. I thought for sure we'd already have hit a thousand. Does this show Odin on here? No, it doesn't. What a trip. I mean, what a ride this has been though for all of us. I mean, I, from getting punishment in like an hour into the game, from defeating the ul the Ultima and Omega weapons, the whole entirety of the Deep Sea Research Facility, like this game has been a ride. You know, it's been a lot of fun. Too bad we couldn't just share the share the uh, the tears and, and the ending, but. I wish we could end it on something more epic. I wish I could have gotten this achievement. I should have gotten this achievement, maybe beaten the game, and then we should have ended the game with o Omega. But considering how our luck was with Omega, that was like a once-in-a-lifetime chance. So maybe I'm glad that we ended on a simple note. Because getting two Phoenixes in a row is... Uh, that's insane. That's a Mega Million chances right there. Should have played the lottery, actually, when that happened. No doubt would have won something.
Like one that had to be number 1000. Nope, still not number 1000. I wish auto haste was a uh, given to every GF. It'd be just sonic speed. Probably should have poison resist too, because that's really annoying. Yeah, no, we still don't have it. I'm like, a, this is insane. That was our last Esuna? Terrifying screen just went black. Also, I assume that that uh, 1000 battles has to be on the same exact uh, like playthrough because when we died, it's definitely not counting the battles from uh, then, or else we'd be done by now. Another question I have for the, the statistic too, I wonder if um, carding counts as a kill. So we did that a lot at the start to avoid leveling up, but I mean it, it was inevitable. Look at that, we're going to be max level here. Why? Irvin's so useless. I wish that he just got slept every time. I think he's the one who beat the final boss for us, too. Insane. Alright, everyone hit 100. Here we go again.
We're really running out of recovery magic. I'm gonna have to get them, Kiraga. It's not? I thought those were the exact lyrics. Just like how it's always been, you could dance and you can die. Thousand's got to be on the corner now, like next five minutes tier. I refuse to believe any otherwise. We've been doing this for far too long. What is the best thing that happened to me this week? Shalka game today, for sure. I think that was probably the best thing that happened to me this week. Or beating Omega Weapon. Both of those two were like the, the two highlights of my week for sure. I'm a simple lad. How about you? How was the best thing that happened in your week today? Your, your week today? I think, like, I don't know. Uh, my week was pretty decent this week. Like, for sure, Omega Weapon and the Triple Triad, like, that was kind of the highlight. Just, I think, 100% in this game in total, so that way I don't have to worry about this stupid achievement in any other game. Even though we're going to be fighting a lot more, because uh, this game has the tactical let's not fight anything. Uh, a sect to it, which is pretty bad. I don't think a Final Fantasy should have that. So hopefully, uh, the other games. Oh, all oh, ice. That's like a first and foremost. This 23-hour time slot is insane. This will not be beaten. Like this, I don't know how we've beaten this game in that amount of time. 100% no less. A lot of it's probably because of the times three speed, but don't expect us any of the other Final Fantasies. That's not good. Ah, 
How have we not hit 1k yet? I will say it again. We may not have fought that much, but we should have fought enough. Maybe Odin doesn't count? Maybe we got the achievement already and I just missed it? Oh, come on. No. So why is your death not working? So, that a boy. All right, come on. Thousand? You guys, I'm gonna start losing it here. How has it not been a thousand yet? Unless it's like this fight. Very much should have been a thousand. Okay, one more thing I could do to try and speed up this is go active in the ATB. All right, that's gotta be a thousand. Let me see, did I miss the achievement? No. Still don't have it. This is crazy talk. I'm just waiting for it to pop up on the screen. Like, there's no way. Squall's about to be at 800 alone. Zell has another, like, 200. Once again, no way. 728, 141, 60. That's a thousand. No, I didn't hit 1K. That's why I'm so surprised. It's because I... The math says otherwise.
Like, it's gotta be within the next, like, I don't even know how many fights. I keep saying, like, in the next ten, but there keeps having to be more. Because total enemies killed should count those from the Guardian Forces. The Guardian Forces have deaded us at least 20. Squall alone has 760. Zell has another 200, and Urban has 60. That should be it. Unless it's... But then the achievement doesn't say, you know, one person has to get all 1k. It's supposed to be like a shared party thing. Let me see if I got it already. I just missed it. Still haven't gotten it. Maybe it's like glitching or something because uh, I should have gotten it already. I don't know why it's not not popping up because that was definitely that was a K right there. Like it, I I don't know maybe if my my internet's kind of slow or something like that and it's not registering. But I mean let me let me do the math. Unless it's just one character, in which case I'll just have to deal with this later. Uh, and then I'll move everyone out from the party and then just go to the fire cavern because let me see let me see the math here we looked at the data okay 742 plus 145 plus 11 plus 18 plus 60. Okay, so that's 976, and then 10, 13, oh my god, we aren't at 1,000 yet. We're at 995. It has to be, so the reason why is because uh, we would have had it if we were on the other account that didn't get bamboozled, but uh, I think it has to be all 1k has to come on the same exact playthrough. So, what is that, two more runs and we should get it? And this is implying that Odin doesn't count then too, which kind of sucks, because if Odin counted, that guy has been a GOAT. All, all series long, that guy has come in clutch, like, so many times. There we go. Okay, it, we were exactly at 995. Trophy earned. Platinum, the Lionheart. Alright, you guys. That is a 100%ed Final Fantasy VIII. Every single item, every single card, every book. Love to see it. What a ride it's been. Our first 100% Final Fantasy that has been streamed. Let's go ahead and chalk her up on the data there. Platinum Trophy, you can now put that on the background of the PlayStation. All right. Uh, so next up, I'm going to be back tonight with World of Final Fantasy. We're going to finish that, and then we're going to go to My Life as a King and Final Fantasy X. Thank you guys so much for everything, all the support through Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I really cannot believe that it's it's over. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. We've we've seen a lot. We've had a lot of Pog Champ moments. We've had a lot of really sad moments. But uh, overall, you know, it was a really, really fun process. It was a really, really fun game. And I'm glad that uh, they ported it. So I can't have too much to complain. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, now my 100% save is now there to flex at any time. <laughs> Our first 100% save, I should say. So anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much. We'll be back with World of Final Fantasy. Uh, thank you for sticking through the past some 26 hours of... 100%ing this game. As always, it is Deleted This signing off. I will see you tonight. Have a nice night, you guys, for the rest of it, and I'll be back in a few hours. Take it easy.